Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm so excited to be part of the 12 by 12 cardstock shop, 12 days of Christmas event. First, you'll need to sign up for this free event. The link is in the description of this video. Then once it starts on November 25th, you'll get an email every day to get the free SVG to make the project. So that's 12 designers, 12 projects in 12 days and i'm one of the 12 designers i would recommend you sign up right away because if you sign up after it starts you'll only get the email for the remaining days and you'll want to get all 12 projects like this one it's a peppermint swirl treat box and it's so cute so all right don't forget the event runs from november 25th through december 5th Every day you'll get an email at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to get the free file for the project of the day and it's free only on that day. So, all right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so this treat box is so stinking cute and it can hold any treats. So what I have here is on the top or the front, um, it's a shaker. So you'll see it's cute little swirly thingies in this inside and then you have the box itself which is this um and this is also linked in the description so you could put even like cookies in here if you wanted to um we're using Hershey Kisses because I think it's so cute oh picked it up wrong <laughs> and then on the back you have a little tab that you could just peel open and your, you know, the person that's receiving this gift can start eating it. Um, I think this is great for just, I mean, it's so, so cute. You can bring it for whenever you're visiting um, or if you're like me, I don't like to give a gift card by itself. I think this would be a great gift card holder. It's kind of crazy, but so stinking cute. And if you really want it to be extra, I'll show you how to put this thing together today. But if you really want it to be extra, you can use vinyl, so adhesive vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. I'm a big fan of using HTV um, to get all the words around here or around here. So it could say Merry Christmas to Sophia from Anne, whatever it is that you want. You can add all of that here or ho, ho, ho. It, it could be so much. <laughs> um, you can also, I, I was contemplating putting a little rhinestone right here. So, all right, let's get started. First, let's fill up our little box. Um, now, you have a couple options, okay? Um, this one right here, I did not use the lid. So when you peel this open, it's just going to be straight into the Hershey Kisses. Um, but that's up to you. If you want something that's airtight, then you can put this in there or put this on and we can glue it. It's the same process no matter what. All right, so let's turn this over and let's get started. I'm going to fill mine with some Hershey Kisses. And you do want this to be flat. You don't want it to be popping up because, like I was telling you, it's it's going to be sitting straight onto cardstock. So let me show you what that would look like. So it would look like this. So what you don't want is you don't want this to be popping out in certain places because it's over uh, if, if it's too full. So I'm going to leave that there. Okay, and let's talk about the cardstock that I have. I'm gonna pull up my shopping cart. I am absolutely in love with all these colors. So this top one, you can kind of see, this is um, this is all on 12 by 12 cardstock shop, of course. Um, this is the red mirror foil board. All of the cardstock options are gonna be in the description. Um, on this one, I am using white with a uh, red cardstock, just uh, textured cardstock. So that would be, let me see, snowy white and then all American red. So both from the Encore line. This I did because you can see it like it picks up the light, right? This is the... Um, the red mirror foil board. I absolutely love it and I love it in all colors. I have it in pink, I have it in purple, and of course silver. So, and then this red, it's so pretty. And then this, I did add 
you know, I used glitter cardstock. This is the Bright White Glitter Luxe car cardstock. And you can see it all kind of makes a difference. I wanted to show you all the colors, um, all your options, because I know some of you guys don't like glitter or you don't want it shiny. But when you look at it, it's so pretty. So, all right. That's what we have. Let's go and do the swirls. Now, the swirl, it's totally up to you. You can do one swirl. So, and you can... With the file, of course, you can cut with any cardstock. You can do this, just the red and white. What I like to do is um, I did, so it's the same file, the same, car, um, the same cutout. So you see they lay right on top of each other. But if you off-center it a little bit, you'll get the swirls. You can make it really big or tiny. It's up to you. You can do a layer of white. You could do white, white glitter cardstock, red, and then you don't even need to do a um, a shaker if you don't want to because you can see there's very little that's still open. So you could do something like this. Let me see if I have one more red in here. Oh, it's the wrong size. Um, so on this one, I only did two. Let me move that down so you can see it. Because I wanted the shaker to still show. There's a lot of cute things going on in that shaker. And I'm just such, I love shakers. And I think people, adults, are used to getting it. And they love it. And of course, kids love it. So it's good for all ages. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's super simple. But if you didn't want to do a shaker, you can just glue all of this. And this would just be right on top. Okay, and we can close this just to make it easier on, on everyone. And we can glue this down. But I'm gonna close it for now because we're gonna put this on top like this. So your options, you have many, many options. You can just do this and put it on top. That's a lot of white, right? So I actually don't like that. So let me, I think I like that more. If you were only doing this, then you have the option of adding the, you know, we, there's just lots of layers on here and you can edit as you want. If you don't want that extra on there, then you take it off. But it's just so stinking cute. All right. <laughs> now, if you want to make the shaker, let me show you. I am using Barely Art foam strips. So these are also available on the 12 by 12 cardstock shop. So um here they are and i like using this is a quarter of an inch and that gives me the option of putting really thick things into the shaker so all you do is this is your base layer we're gonna take this and go all the way to the edge so i'm just gonna line it up to the edge and go all the way around And if you've never used it, it's super sticky. You don't need to reinforce it. So it will be good just with the adhesive that it comes with. Okay, so that's one. We're gonna do another strip. On this strip, you're gonna butt it right up to the first one. And then just continue putting it all the way around. When we get to here, you're going to want to get a pair of scissors and we're just going to trim it. You want to trim it really, really close to um, like that. Okay, so then what you want to do, I'm going to move this aside. You want to press down. When you have adhesive, um, it's always pressure adhesive if it's not heat adhesive, right? So with pressure adhesive, you need to push down. You're sort of like activating it. It's really sticky. Just think about scotch tape even or a sticker. If you push down, it really gets sticky. And then, it, and then of course, if you let it sit and cure. So think of scotch tape, right? If you really pressed it down and you left it there for, 
I don't know, 72 hours. It's gonna be a lot stickier and a lot harder to peel off than if you just lightly put it down and peeled it off in 10 minutes. So same thing applies with these. You're gonna push down and then of course we're not gonna be pulling at it, right? We, we want it to be as sticky and to stay sticky. Now the other thing that I like to do is where the two strips meet, I do like to take, um, I also use Barely Art Glue. I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna just kinda squeeze it out like this, and I'm gonna put the glue down just to make sure that nothing comes out in between. So that once this dries, then I know nothing's gonna come out from the edges. Um, it's not quite as important with the with the confetti that I'm using. It only makes a big difference if you're using like glitter, which I'm not a big fan. I love glitter, but I don't like glitter in my shakers because it gets everywhere and it could seep through like a little tiny hole. All right, so now we've had, we built our wall, right? So we can have fun putting things in it. So here are, I mean, I've got all sorts of things. I like to use um, these sequins and I only want my shades of pink and somehow there's like a yellow one in there. So I'm gonna put that in there. It does come with some glitter. Not a fan, but that's okay. <laughs> um, we've got foam balls. And then I also really like to use for sound and smell and also for the visual effects, I like using um, sprinkles. So these are sprinkles that you would put on a cupcake or a cake. Can you hear that? It just, you can, the sound is, is um, awesome. So I've got that. Um, you can even do like, I'm throwing everything in this. It's like a kitchen sink mix. This has, confetti tubes. I've got all sorts of colors in there. Um, you can see it. it's getting fun. <laughs> um, let me see. I feel like I need to add a little bit more pink. I'm going to take out these big pink sequins just to lighten it up because when you're looking at this, I am going to be using the red. I want the pink and the white to come through. So... I think, let's see, how does that look? I think I'm missing some pink. I'm gonna go and get, let me grab. I'm gonna grab some hot pink. And then I'm going to add some light pink as well. Okay. Put a little bit more pink in there. Okay. I think I'm good now. <laughs> All right. So once you have this down, what you want to do is you want to stick a finger in and peel off the tab and just make sure there's no movement. Like when you get to the edge of one, just be careful when you lift it up because it could um, move your shaker and the next thing you know, all these little pieces will pop up and stick to your adhesive, which you don't want because we're gonna close this with a layer of acetate. So we don't want any of our shaker pieces to get up there onto our adhesive. All right, so that was a success. <laughs> All right, let me grab my adhesive or my acetate layer. And of course, oh my gosh, because it's clear. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh no, it's clear and I can't find it. Okay, um, you want a layer of acetate, right? And I think it's just on one side, okay. And you're just gonna lay it down. All 
and you're gonna push it down because you want the adhesive to get that pressure on the top. It's double-sided. So you want it on the top layer and the bottom layer, right? We're really securing this, this shaker down. Now I have to admit, when I cut this um, acetate layer, it was a really thin piece, like it was just a little short right here. So right here, what I'm gonna do is, well, we already know this is gonna sit on top, so it's gonna cover, I mean, this made it to the edge, but I just wanna make sure that it's good. So I'm gonna trim this because I moved it down a little bit. It should be perfect for you though. Okay. So here, you can hear it, it's so fun. And look at that, it's so pretty. Okay. So let's look at this. I wanna do, I'm gonna do the opposite of this one, which is, um, it's got the white on top. So I'm gonna do the red on top this time. So it's gonna look like this. And you can make that, like I said, you can make that opening as big or as small as you want, where just a little bit of white is popping through and that's gonna be pretty, that's gonna be good for me. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna put glue onto I'm gonna put glue on just the edges because when I put this down, it'll be dry by the time I put that down, that's fine, okay talking out loud. <laughs> I'm going to put glue all the way around on my red. And then just, you know, see how much white you want showing. It's so pretty. Okay, um, so on here, you can choose if you wanted to. Do we want that white? Or do we like it like this? I can't decide. So because I can't decide, I'm gonna leave it like this because we can always add this on afterwards. So let's see how it looks on with the whole thing, right? Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna glue this onto here. So we're just gonna put our glue. Now on this one, this is really simple. On the back side, I just like to peel this up a little bit. It's also because I've got big candy pieces, so nothing's gonna come through, but that way the person getting it has this little tab and can just peel it off. Then I'm gonna flip it over and put this down and it's gonna line up perfectly. So I'm gonna put glue on the back side. And the reason why I like using Barely Art glue is that it dries quickly, it dries clear, and it doesn't warp my paper. So I've got this beautiful mirror foil paper, right? and um, I just don't want it to warp or have any damage to it. So you can see nothing happened. I wanna press down just to make sure that I get a flat, nice um, dry on it. And you can see like nothing, it's just beautiful. Such good glue. All right, 
So we've got that down. Now, like I said, if you had cookies in here, you can seal it up. What you would do is I would take my hot glue gun and I would glue this lid. And there's like a little rim right here. So you could glue it down. And then what you would do is we have these pieces here that will go over that will kind of like mask the lid, for instance. And then you're going to put that down and you could see, oops, how cute that is, right? So stinking cute. Um, do I want that? I can't tell. I think that's too much white. I think I would want that. Okay, so now in my case, because it's just Hershey Kisses, I think what I want to do is I'm going to take off the lid because when I once the person peels it open, I want them to have direct access to the chocolate. So. The way it would work is like this. So you see, with or without the lid. So what I would do is I would flip this over and I would do my hot glue gun. Make sure that nothing is gonna touch the glue. And I've got a hot glue gun on, okay. And you're gonna go quickly. Oh my gosh, this is not helping right now. <laughs> I'm connecting the glue. I'm supposed to go quickly. All right, here we go. over and you can glue this down or not um, because or you can glue down a little bit just so it doesn't move and then we'll put this on top so on this one we're just gonna glue we're gonna put glue right here because there's a little dip so you can either choose to glue it on the edge right here, or you can put it on the box. And then here, if you feel like you didn't get good glue, you could take your hot glue gun now and add the glue right here, but I mean, it feels really secure to me. It's not gonna go anywhere. But if you needed to, where you missed it, you can put it down and then glue all the way around here. And that would help you like line it up a little bit better than the way I did it. So, um, okay. On this one, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. Do I want this or do I want the red? All right, let's see what our options are right now. I feel like the white is good. All right, I'm just gonna put just a little bit. A little bit there, a little bit there. Because this doesn't need a lot of glue. Okay, so that's down, this is down. I guess the question is, do we put that white one on top? More can't decide or do we keep it like that I'm like oh, I'm gonna keep it like this <laughs> but that is we're done it's so easy so fun now if you wanted to I also have some tool okay here we go um because you know candy wrappers they have that like cellophane or whatever the uh, the little plastic wrap if you wanted to you can add some more some more things to this you can do something like this or not. I like it without, but I wanted to give you that option. 
It's so cute, right? And I feel like, okay, yes, this is a peppermint swirl and I feel like it's so Christmassy, but I feel like how cute would this be with Valentine's Day marshmallows or St. Patrick's Day like green candy on the inside? I feel like this can be changed to so many different things. And then if you're, you know, we're all super paper crafters. If we add little fun things on the edges or a cute little saying to change for each holiday, I feel like this is such a versatile file. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. <laughs> and I hope you make it and when you do tag me I would love to see what you do with it even if you make it the same or you change it up whatever it is um, I would love to see it just find me on your favorite social media platform I'm the useless crafter on all of them um, Merry Christmas and I will see you guys next time